Well, 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 what's going to happen to you when the energy increases on earth and starts pummeling through your body? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Well, first of all, we're going to have ascension symptoms, and so many of you have probably already experienced this. Uh, you could have itchy hot pockets on your skin, heart palps, increased anxiety, hard time sleeping at night. All of a sudden, you're having super vivid, intense dreams. You might notice that uh, you overheat at night, and these are all signs of ascension symptoms, okay? You might notice your diet is changing. You can't eat the foods that you once were able to eat. Welcome to Awakening on Earth. They said it was going to be fun before I signed up. I all lied, all right? <laughs> but what we're going to talk today about is what happens to your ears, your eyes, your sense of smell, your taste. What happens to all of that when, when you start to anchor more light through your body? And she says, you may have noticed sensations increasing in time. Your sound or the sound around you becomes too loud. Uh, you, you used to go out and it used to be like loud and it didn't bother you. And now it's pulsating. You might, I notice myself, I'm like, if someone's chewing too loud or if they're talking too loud, I, I have to say something. I've also noticed like my ear chakra is opening and a lot of pressure here sometimes pressure ear ringing ear muffing the other thing you might notice is your eyes you might notice like a film comes over your eyes and it's kind of hard for you to see and that will last for about five to seven days usually and that's your 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 eyesight changing your spiritual sight in my opinion there's two kinds of spiritual sight there is your eyes and what you see with your actual eyes and then there is what you see imagery wise within your mind and a lot of people will say oh that's your imagination yep it is and it's a wonderful thing to have so when you were daydreaming in school you might have noticed images forming in your mind so that is maybe unconscious channeling whereas now you can actually speak with your angels and ask them to give you some guidance and they might actively consciously give you some imagery in your mind so your eyesight changes you also might notice uh, the light coming through the window or the sunlight or you know your lamp light is so bright on your eyes like it hurts oh and you're noticing a lot of watering of your eyes yeah so this is also a sign of energy coming through uh your nose let's talk about your nose what happens with your nose you might notice okay you're awakening and you start noticing spirit tickling your nose to get your attention that's one thing i've noticed <laughs> i've also noticed uh my sense of smell definitely has increased and then one thing i've noticed with your mouth or taste it was the weirdest thing. Everybody online was talking about like a metallic type taste in their mouth, on their tongue. And that lasted for several months. It would come and go. And then it, everybody wasn't noticing it. You may have noticed these sensations increasing in time, becoming extraordinarily sensitive in the days ahead, more than you used to. So you're going to become even more sensitive. I'm like... I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> but that's what I am receiving from my guardian angel. It is going to ramp up, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to smell any things that I don't like <laughs> at the dog park. <laughs> Not only will your senses be heightened, but you will also be very sensitive to energy too. So it's not just about your senses through your ears, eyes, nose, and mouth, but it's also the energy that's going to ramp up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So it's not like you are going to have to ask anyone any questions to know the answer. You're already going to know because you're going to be so open and so sensitive. <laughs> Short of telepathically reading people's minds, bare minimum, your senses through your body are going to increase 
and your intuition, your gut feeling and sensing energy from other people and sensing energy out there around you is going to increase. It's not going to be as easy for people to, you know, lie or get away with what they once got away with when the energy is increasing here on Earth, not only through Earth, but through each of our bodies. My Nana at times, she'll just stream energy down from above me and it just it feels like it pierces through the top of my crown chakra and then she starts pretty much giving me some lip. <laughs> So yeah, so that's something that you might look forward to when your feisty grandma passes over. <laughs> yeah, there's a great question. Will our spirit guides be easier to reach in the days ahead? And the answer to that is yes. And they're given that as yes, accurate. The veil will thin further. And just as Kristen has relayed previously, you will notice energy increasing through your chakra centers. And then as those open and widen, you will notice waves of energy just pass through your whole body. So first they come in and they are gentle, okay? And they just gently open your chakra centers. My crown chakra used to be this big, now this big. Let me tell you, I feel it too. And then over time, as your chakra centers are really big and wide, then they just start to pass large amounts of energy through your entire body. Waves of it. It's like it just washes over. Ooh, there's a great question. Will we feel the crystalline grids? And will they amplify? The crystalline grid uh, will be charged with more energy and the energy will uh, channel through the earth and go a further distance with more charge. So maybe now it's coming through and it's getting a certain distance, but in the future it'll pummel through and reach a greater distance. And when it does reach a greater distance under the earth's crust, it will be able to reach more of you each of you directly. So there are some places on earth that are maybe energetically quite flat or the energy is too busy to notice the energy of the earth or the energy beneath their feet. But in the days ahead, the energy will be able to charge the planet even more so and reach each of you directly more so irregardless of where you live if you have an issue in your life talk to your team about it talk out loud and don't be afraid to raise your voice or get grumpy or or even swear nobody cares p.s they're too high vibrational to even care about that what matters most is that you're getting it out and then any of the heaviness they're going to transmute and then they're going to get busy and start helping you in your life but if we sit there and ho hum and we don't talk to them, we think we're all alone. Guess what? You're not. And you need to start talking with them and being very direct about what you want. And at the end of asking what I want, what I say is this or something even better. Thank you. Because maybe they have a better idea or maybe they have another way that's going to be even better than what I think I want. Should you look for a job or should you start volunteering for, uh, for social work? The social work path is flat. I'm just going to be honest. Energetically, it's super flat. The amount of energy that you would need to sustain that path would be too much for you. It would be what they're calling astronomical. It's like asking me to be a nurse. I don't have the energy to put forth a 12-hour shift, travel, and all the other bits and pieces, probably like a 14-hour day, four days a week. I know I don't have the energy for it and the stress and everything that they have to cope with, for example. So as far as looking for a job, that would be good for you. And it's really about uh, engaging with the outside world and, and keeping you busy. Aim for a job that you enjoy. They're recommending a job around animals because that will be very uplifting and very good for you energetically, vibrationally, and it will pay you really well. And they would prefer that you get paid for your time rather than volunteering. As money is energy and is important to have an exchange 
of your energy for energy. Becca, you feel sad and, and kind of funky today. It's the energy. You feel lightheaded, disoriented, discombobulated, deflated. Uh, what to do with yourself. Just allow it to move through. Don't take it to heart and, and try not to take it too seriously. Just know it's the energy. Things will pick up by tomorrow for you. You'll feel a lot better tomorrow. I mean, you're saying, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it's like, it's one thing to go through it. I call it going through the ringer. But then, you know, when things are, you know, a bit heavy in general, collectively, right? So let's see with Jenny. I feel stuck within myself. Like I'm stuck here. Move through it. It will not last forever, dear one. You've got this. You've been here before. You've done this before. And you've made it out the other end many times before. This is just a part of your life's purpose here on Earth. So what does that tell me? It tells me some people sign up for colitis and surgeries. And that's a part of their purpose and contrast of learning on Earth like myself. The suffering from that. And some people will sign up or some souls will sign up. And maybe have bouts of depression. Um, what I get with this though is it's not as severe or as intense as others situations on earth. So remember that. And it's really important that you, you know, even if you're not feeling great, you pick yourself up and get out and get around people that are going to be uplifting and happy and, and um, just try to get around their energy, even though it may buffer off of you a bit like it's not but it's important to be also important for you to be outside in the sunlight and around water and around animals they're not expecting you to eat perfect um you may have bouts where you're like that's it i'm gonna have a day of eating what i want but if you could sustain overall more high vibrational foods i'm seeing broccoli and i'm seeing like uh, vegetables, green vegetables, soothing, comforting, good, nutritious foods for you to consume on a regular basis. Well, if we are taking in a lot of light, that can happen at times where you have no appetite. And so what happens is if you are taking in a lot of light frequency, if you are in a location where the light is really intense, like where I live, it's intense. So it's like shakes and soups and salads and lighter foods. So as long as we get some of that in, all I get is make it happen. <laughs> so let me know what that means. <laughs> let me know what that means. Make it happen. So, so, you know, they can't make you pick up that piece of broccoli. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I won't do it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going for the bag of Skittles. <laughs> yeah, I remember going to a counselor and she like blew my socks right off my feet. She didn't do it the traditional way. And this woman came from suffering, which I thought, she knows how to talk to me. She went through polio at a young age. She had one foot that was this much shorter than the other. So she was had this bigger shoe on the one foot and she'd limp. And she, she, it was a life of suffering. Are you kidding me, man? Like, it, she knew exactly how to help me. It was crazy. And years down the road, I would always say to my mom, the best thing you ever did was send me to that counselor at that church who donated her time. She wasn't even religious. She just did it out of the church for free. That woman was amazing. Well, you guys, look out for this increase of light and your increase of sensitivity through your body, through the ways in which I relayed in the beginning of this live. You can go to kristendaviesmedium.com. Love you guys. Bye.